Hello YouTube, this is Davmar1079 bringing you another World of Warship video and today we shall be taking a look at the premium British battleship Nelson, a tier 6 in the only 16 inch arm British battleship ever made. And today I am joined by a person that you do know from a couple of videos, Mr. Driven, say hello. How's it going? Yes. And I even made it up to him because at the beginning of this little update thing was Musashi. I decided, hey, I got a 30% coupon with... So I thought, hmm, let me just get Musashi, uh, Mutsu. But then all the things with the British family happened, so I decided to play a lot more with the British. I like King George V in the Vanguard video, as you saw. And as the... As of right now, the day this is being recorded is the final day that they did put Queen Elizabeth to rest. So, I left it up to Driven here, and he picked Nelson. Instead of Mutsu. So let us just get a quick little diorama. In this, her service life, I looked in my little war book. Not really that much. Yes, she did compete, but her sister ship Rodney had probably done a little bit more since her sister ship was in the hunt for the German battleship Bismarck after the sinking of the Hood. I don't know where Nelson was at the time, but at least they had one 16 inch gun capital ship to definitely give Bismarck a beating. Pretty much, she, her sister ship is pretty much in pre, pretty much included of the whole of the whole fl British fleet that went after her and the home fleet, and pretty much sink the Bismarck was their battle cry, like the song suggests. So as always, we shall go into AI mode, and then standard mode to see how she does again. Hence, it is, and I'll give you somewhat history that I do know of her. Oh wait, just uh, for that. The little standard loadout and everything. Her armor. And in a little bit, there you can pause and you can see all the little bits in detail. Just a little bit right there and I'll like, go more. <laughs> ah! The... that was before... that was after that was made before the Nelson class, the Queen Elizabeth class. And for those who... Why not? Yeah, figured why not. And there's four of the people that saw the other bigger YouTubers that do World of Warships videos. They picked all the... the ship name Queen Elizabeth. This, that is for... The Queen Elizabeth class is named after... the first Queen Elizabeth. Not the second. She was only princess. Elizabeth. So, I differentiated from them doing a ship that she was actually in involved with. But yes, once we get into battle, I'll get into a little bit more of some history that I do know and I did look up a little bit that I've had that I knew about, but I had to also refresh my memory in looking at through my book to see that make sure everything was fine. Oh, and then camouflage on... wait a minute. Oh yeah, that is you, Driven. Your camouflage is about the same shade as mine. Huh. <laughs> it is. Yes. Good job, but I like hers a little bit better. Who's? Nelson's or Queen Elizabeth? Your... Yeah. Yes, and also this. Like I said, she wasn't planned to be the only one, but as a 16-inch gun capital ship, but she does distinguish herself as being her class is the only ones that have ever been armed in Great Britain. She is the first one with two propellers, where I guess Queen Elizabeth over there has, I guess, either one or four, which I'm guessing is four. Four. So, which I play. Wait for what? Propellers. Enemy force uh, I think so. Yes, yes we'll see when we get flipped over in <laughs> standard battle. 
I it, remember. Yeah. Which I think I can remember. Yeah, Hood only has like, Hood has like three and all that. So, but this is off just the top of my head that I've heard from other people, like the people over at Battleship New Jersey's YouTube page and all that. Let's see how this does. Our first salvo with her was all three main guns. I did one oh, penetration. Mine was bad. Yeah, for the hard too far. And the thing for Nelson here, all her weight is up towards pretty much just the armor of her citadel where her guns are. So in that regard, she's a good ship. But in the other regard, is you can't really broadside with all three main guns I've seen. But she is still a good capital ship. And for this, her creation came out of pretty much, I guess, I almost want to say desperation because she is a treaty era battleship. She originally was not planned. She's a, I guess you could say, a downgraded version of, I guess, the G3 plans of the British Royal Navy to where they were going to make a bigger capital ship, but the British were the only ones that really wanted to stick to the treaty limits of 35,000 tons, turn. but so the British did stick to that and they did help with the standard displacement of like water and fuel are not included in the tonnage weight and the reason for them saying stuff like that is because the only reason why these were made and the others weren't because, again, they stuck to the 35,000 tons and Japan and America had 16-inch gun capital ships, the Colorado class and the Nagato class. So the British argued and they won the argument of, we want a couple of 16-inch gun capital ships too. So they got it. So and some people think the Washington Naval Treaty, the British won. Which, for her time, yeah, they won. But really then comes the 30s and 40s, the later 30s, earlier 40s, that faster battleships came out to where this one, they say historically she had 23 knots in the game, she's 24 knots. So I guess good. Either way, she wasn't going to be the fastest, but she was the most powerful in the fleet. which uh, makes her, I guess, a good capital ship. The only other, I guess you could say, the most powerful ships in the Navy before her were what Driven is playing now. The Queen Elizabeth class was only 15-inch gun capital ships. If you don't count, I guess, the Hood as a battleship and a battle cruiser, Because she sits in the middle between Queen Elizabeth and King George V class, if you don't count Hood. Let's see. That getting better. Actually see. 5.5, not that bad AA could be more desirable. 16 kilometer range, eh, about standard for them. She's only got 10 miles. I guess difference Main in range in terms damaged. of like Vanguard and um, King George. As you just saw right there, even against AIs, they are just going after the easy side armor. Which I know better from Problem the videos, solved, like sir. you said. So my first battle, I have to get a feel for her and what and what not to do. Yes. First, to get to, as they would say in the real world, teething problems, which she did have them. She only got the teething problems out of her was her like, gun barrels turns towards World War II. Because they did test her guns through German captured battleships, well, one prized German battleships after the First World War. So they had their reliner guns and all that. 
and pretty much her teething problem still stayed until you know, the point of the war starting. And I'll go into more wartime uh, knowledge once we get into standard. A lot of my health's gone, but a good chunk of it I can replenish, and let's do that. With how this ship is, I definitely would need to kind of consider putting my captain to a rank 16, because then 4 heals instead of 5 will do quite good. You see, I pretty much got all my health back. So that's what that commander fucking does? Yes, there's all different commanders that give you either aiming to make it more accurate, or as for me, I like building tanky, tanky ships, so they well, get I more noticed, heals. I noticed that, I noticed that the, this is a more greater health that's been put back on. Yeah, the British ships do happen to do that a little bit more, some better than others, and for me, I always make them tanky, so I always give them... Well, for the British capital ships, for me, they have a fantastic reloading time with, of course, the commander I'm using, and then the Italian commander to even help the reloading process go down more. And then I have the one commander to increase health. Okay. Look, I forgot what commander I had. Into yeah. if I were to do that aiming modification one, the dispersion rate would be a lot more tighter, so it wouldn't go out as spread out as much, so that would be good too for her. pre-war history. Yes, at the time she was about the most powerful warship technically afloat. She was the most modern out of all the 16-inch gun capital ships, but eventually she did get outbeat by what I'm shooting at now, the North Carolina, South Dakota class, all the others, and for, thought for a while to be the fastest, which she's about. She's technically a not slower than the Gato class, and she's definitely about not slower than like what? Iowa. If they made her during third turn higher so that they could all the ship is on fire. They had the same weight. Fire, but... Yeah, that the, did you say that they had they really had to they cut some corners like oh, sorry, putting sir. aluminum to save weight in the turret area because they the wanted to fire. definitely stay to treaty limits of thirty five thousand tons. So, that's why they did what they did. Let's see. Wait, she's not a bad ship. Yes, she was probably... She was definitely the first, I guess, technically... Yeah, now that I think of it, she is the first triple gun turreted 16-inch gun capital ship, now that I think of it. Of course, then, the Americans made theirs better. And she does have a unique design. Some people might call it ugly. They say her like her. She was the first one to actually have a enclosed bridge, which is definitely a neat little thing. But they say she kind of was a little wavy in weather, like high wind. She was like a weather vane, tossed her around a little bit. But for her, 
She looks good. She's definitely interesting. Does she... Got prettier siblings? Definitely. But she is definitely a unique one. I guess Mr. Driven's figuring out a ship to pick. Oh, sorry. I was looking at my commander for uh, this thing. Hmm. Uh, his, uh, his inspiration. Hmm. Well, I guess while he does that, because I know the standard battle, unless we get lucky, it's not going to last that long. <laughs> Pretty much, besides probably the only major engagement I was able to find in my book is her and the rest of the home fleet, including her sister ship Nelson, they did go against the German battleships Scharnhorst and Gneisenau, two sister battleships like Nelson and Rodney. They, she did, I guess, fight them, so, then she was also in... It seemed like most of her career, she stayed in the Mediterranean. She did not participate, sadly, in the hunt for the Bismarck. I did see some... Well, no, that happened afterwards, or it could have been. But somewhere down the line in her career, she was hit by a, a Italian torpedo. She was in the Mediterranean. She was going after the lead ship of, in this game, the Tier Seven battleship. Um, the, I guess, Latorio however you say it, pretty much the sister ship to the Roma. So she was damaged. But pretty much like all British wartime battleships, yeah, they were conceived afterwards, like she's a treaty era, so she didn't see the First World War, but they used them German so much. They did get their probably their money's worth. But yeah, mostly she stayed in the Mediterranean, Action probably stations. trying to keep the Italians subdued, keep them in there. Since the British had to keep the Mediterranean by themselves, since VC France was aligned now to the Germans. And the Free French really didn't want to help the British after a little incident where the entire French Navy was interned and the British said, you either turn them over to us, you disarm them, or we sink you. Little Miss Telegraph, and they pretty much decided, all right, let's sink them. So that's what they kind of did, so they didn't want to. So yeah, Nelson's career, since she stayed around the home fleet, essentially, I guess, she is a British battleship, so they don't have the best range. I think Vanguard was the only one that really considered to go further. Pretty much since the Empire was still intact in the war, since they had colonies everywhere, they could refuel anywhere, basically. So, that worked to their advantage, and plus they, with this class of ship, they made it to where the regular, the newer standard load was not including fuel or feed water for the boilers. So I guess technically this air of capital ship was the one who made standard displacement and I guess wartime displacement and all that. I know it's not called wartime displacement but it's about 11 o'clock when I'm when me and Driven are recording this for m my time. He's an hour behind, so it's 9 o'clock for him going on 10 soon. So I'm just trying to remember a lot of stuff off the top of my head to do this video. So I do apologize if I get some things wrong or don't say the right thing. So please leave a comment down below and be gentle with me, I guess, on that. <laughs> He's a young man. As well. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah. So, technically, she's a good battleship. She's not as well like I can, with Queen Elizabeth, I can do a full broadside, probably no problem. Not as, a little bit more carefree than I do can with Nelson here, but overall, she seems like a good ship. I think her sister ship definitely has the more color, the more battle experience, and she did go hunt the Bismarck. She did help Nelson here go after Sharnhorst and Gneisenau. 
when they tried the first broke out from Germany. I think she also Rodney was the one who also helped finish Shark Horse in the end. Again, I'm trying to remember stuff off the top of my head. Please be gentle in the comments. So pretty much these ships did have an active life. They've saved mainly in their territorial waters of home, which was good, because I don't know how fair she would have done in the Pacific with Japanese aircraft in the ways of uh, and their better torpedoes and everything since it looks like yeah she has AA guns but doesn't look like they'd be all that good. Better watch it, yes I see that little little tiny destroyer I can just hear them ricocheting off these. So at that moment, they're just turn up the volume around this time marker at a few minutes, a few seconds back, and just listen, like right there. It's just to me, so entertaining to hear them. Those ding. It's funny to me. Tink, tink. That torpedo. It sounds like you're a little six shooter hitting heavy metal. It's, yeah. it, it's the first time I've ever heard it. To me, it's just entertaining. It's almost cute that he thinks he can try something because he's using armor. He's using armor piercing. And he's not doing a single thing. He's just ticking me off more to the point. If I could, I'd shoot him and kill him. More like uh, somebody tapping you all the time. Like, well, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, it's just like a little poke. It's not even a mosquito bite or anything. It's just like a little Torpedoes prick. Direct. Get go, you little guy. That. There's a real. There's a real show. Enemy destroyer sunk. It was cute of him, wasn't it, Driven? We're flooding quickly. Okay. Problem solved, sir. At least he tried. Yes, at least he tried. I'll notice that I can use my repair party, or not my repair party, uh, my damage control. Problem solved, sir. My cruiser's really smart. He's gonna flush that. He's gonna flush that cruiser out. You flush him out. And I'll get him. Ah, speed of one of the ships that she had faced, the Kanaizenau. Hello. Oh, the cruiser's trying to 
do more. I have no fear of American cruisers. They have no torpedoes, so I'm fine. Dandy with them. Aircraft or something driven to get him. I don't have no aircraft on this one. Oh, you didn't switch it to where you can have it, did you? No, I got two of the secondary armaments. Ah, dark. Hey. Let's see, secondary gun with the fire I can see. Solved, sir. I was spotting aircraft myself. Good wish. Is that cruiser getting really freaking annoying? I want to see where the stupid thing is at, but I can't. I hate when you can't find him. There he is. Ain't running now. You already exposed yourself to that. I tried to set me on fire one last time. We didn't get the chance. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. And now trying to get me where my armor's thin. I, I, I wasn't born yesterday. I looked up the ship's history. The ship is on fire. No, thank you. But here. Here's a love pack. Oh, my fucking bullets hit your. <laughs> you hit the you hit my ass end, didn't you? I'm gonna burn. This ray come on. Load. One of my turrets was destroyed. So I only have one face forward facing gun. Fire again. The ship is on fire. That's it, I got him on fire. Don't. Come on, turn into me. Never mind. Sorry. Right. Oh shoot, I forgot. He's got torpedoes on this deck, I'm sad. Just slow it down. Yeah. There you go. Here. But dark. Oh great, there's a the tank. My... What's well, the daggone destroyer? Running, like he should. Pretty much now, since I'm thinking my thoughts, she's a good ship. Definitely, I have seen what you can do to angle to where, yes, you saw 15-inch guns. When I angled myself just perfectly, they were pretty much didn't do nothing. They, I think most of them ricocheted. Maybe a little yeah, bit Dave, damaged. you got two. I got three kills. Uh, no, 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 two, uh, rudders in the back. Yes, I do. Yep. And there's a thing about that, they're so far apart, they didn't really hit the rudder, the, the, I guess the water, when, them, when they r rotated, so, she was fine going straight, turning, a little different, so, but it seems like that's not really a problem in the game. But yes, a quite a good ship. Let us see our destroyer, buddy. He's launching torpedoes at that ship, trying to also set him on fire. Good little strategy, but those torpedoes will be detected, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, he might actually go right into him. Right now he's cornered. Yeah, but his torpedoes are gonna hit. S some, I think some are. I think. Oh, wishful thinking. No, he dodged them all. Pretty much sitting on fire is what he's doing, so he's annoying him. Try to capture B. Wait, do the two cruisers get? Yes. Forky, okay. British and Russian. 
Yes, they are on this torps. That's a different one. Oh, no, yeah. So yes, Driven here is the last hope. Will he survive? He's at full health, so... And the other one is not. So... Since this well, is for... cruisers. Yep. At so, least they'll be easier to spot. Hopefully. Yes. So, for Driven, we shall stick with him and see how it goes. I hate to just leave him and see. I almost kind of want to see now, because... Yes, I didn't give you much his... A lot of history was off the top of my head that I can remember, some that I just listened to while coming home from work. So, we shall watch. So, if it's a little bit of a longer video, I do apologize, but just because our friend sticked with the, the theme of British capital ships, we will stay with the Queen Elizabeth in. If you would like, leave a comment down below and tell me, would you like to see a video on Queen Elizabeth? Or, in the future, when I do get decide to want another premium ship, would you like to see Warspite? Since she has a little bit more history herself. Or maybe down the line. Since I did say I decided to choose between Nelson here and Mutsu, would you like maybe to see a video on Mutsu? The only... Actually, then I think of it, the only battleship probably of that era that they say she had torpedo tubes and she actually kept them. Yeah, yeah like, in this sure. version of her, anyways. I don't know who upgraded or anything like her if they did. She probably made it. Hey, I'm not, not sure. Anywhere. Darn driven, we're gonna lose because we don't have the points. I don't know. Nah, but we did good. Let's see how much we made in in this game. Not bad for her first time in a that in the top three. Made a good chunk of change. I practically made almost all of that money. And I did happen to forget to see how much I test I technically lost in the last game, so let's take a look at that real quick, which she is an AI. Actually, I didn't lose anything, so that's good. So, again, my thoughts, she's a good ship. A good British capital ship. What I like... And for an a real ship that actually served in the real world, quite good. I'm not sure, but leave your comments down. I'll leave a comment down below and tell me if I think it's the sh the ship we could have earned a while ago. Lion, if she's armed with 16-inch guns, I'm pretty sure she is, but I'm not sure. Let me know. And uh, as well, let's see, Drew, what do you think of her performance, just from a side view? Well, she had a pretty good captain. I mean, you uh, you handled her good. You got three kills with it and she did real good taking damage you know especially yeah when she angled her like you look at the armor too a little bit better more than I do at times so you're a little bit better on that and let me hear your thoughts would this be a ship that you would like to possibly would you like to ever like receive because you are lucky in getting premium ships that I want and then I have to go get the go get a card to get them I mean, yeah, it would be real nice to get get that ship. I mean, I had another one to the collection. Yes. You would do 155. 156. Or 56 now, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> yes, Driven here has been lucky. He is the reason why the Graf Spey video was made and other things too. Which, who knows? The Once we earned the new ship, the new tier 3 British ship that's coming out that you just do that's out right now don't know how to say its name but this one let me know if you would like to see a video on that as well which most likely it'll come out but I guess more of the question is would you like to see it was driven since we did the last tier 3 premium ship we came out to see 
So, all right, I'm, this video is probably going to be a long one anyways. This will be posted by the time you're watching it that day, but this is of the 19th. So I want to thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below and tell me what you thought of the ship. Do you have her? Do you like her? Is she one of your favorite? I guess 16 inch gun capital ships of the treaty era let me know and also I hope you'll have a great rest of your day or great rest of your night when depending on when you're watching this and I shall catch y'all in the next one anything last words to say yourself driven mm. good luck <laughs> I guess what, I don't know. what better way? Pretty much. I'll catch you all in the next one, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. See ya.